It's Miss Savannah again from Los Alamitos Rossmore Library here for a special virtual story time. Today, in front of a roaring fireplace, we will be reading After Squid Night, written and illustrated by Jonathan Fenske. And we're reading this today with permission from Penguin Random House. So thank you. Since this is such a special, a little creepy story, I think we should jump right in and have some fun reading After Squid Night. So let's go. The sky is black, the clouds are inky, the salty air is still and stinky. You're snug in bed, you're softly sleeping. Well to your house, the squids are creeping. Tick tock, tick tock, midnight sounds. At the beach, the ocean pounds. And from the surf, a suckered hand drags itself onto the sand. You dream of breezy afternoons. The squid slides softly over dunes. Pale artists from the ocean dark are on their way to make their mark. In water, squid art does not stay. Inky drawings drift away. So pointy heads and arms of blue will bring the inky art to you. In they pour their arms like noodles, drawing curly, swirly doodles. Yum, your kitchen looks delicious. Through the cupboard over dishes, on fridge and freezer leaving streaks, dragging tentacles and beaks. Down the hall, the dark ink dribbles. Now your rug is full of scribbles. Bathroom pit stop, rub-a-dub, drawing water in the tub. Your room is next, and while you snore, the squid squeeze underneath your door. They draw on trucks, they draw on dolls, they draw on curtains, clothes, and walls. They draw on you, but you don't care. You do not even know they're there. But when you stir, oh, how they scatter their squiddy hearts a pitter patter they wait in shadows big eyes blinking and pause their squiddly diddly inking till all is quiet as before then they ooze out to ink some more they draw on doors they draw on hooks they draw on shoes and socks and books they draw until the sunlight's glowing lets them know they must be going you wake in time to see one still sliding off the window sill. Tick tock, tick tock, morning sounds. At the beach, the ocean pounds. And through the surf, the squids with glee drag themselves back to the sea. While in your room, you blink and stare. Your eyes adjust to what is there. The inky art is everywhere. Your mom and dad are not too happy. Start the scrubbing, make it snappy. You try your best to blame the squids, but who believes the tales of kids? In houses, squid art cannot stay. You have to wash it all away. Well, not quite all. For with a smile in the corner behind a pile of random stuff, you save one mark sketched by a squid in midnight's dark. It's just a doodle, nothing grand, left by a slimy suckered hand whose artist's heart just had to share with anybody who might care that once while you slept unaware after midnight, squids were there. Thanks for joining me today for this slightly spooky reading of After Squid Night. I hope you had fun with it. And I just realized I have some inky drawings on my fireplace. I didn't realize that was happening behind me. Did you see that and you didn't tell me? Well, that's okay. I think what I'll do is I'll take these down because we don't need them, right? We'll take these down and, oh, is that, is that a squid? Well, maybe we'll be like the character in the book and keep it up as a reminder that squids were apparently here. So remember, if you haven't signed up for the summer reading challenge, 
do so. Go to our website, ocpl.org, for all information on our reading challenge as well as virtual programs. Until next time, goodbye.